Hey, how you doing today? My name is Rolia, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're playing Hollow Knight, and I want to show you how to beat the Soul Master. This is a boss that you have to defeat before you get the Desolate Dive ability. It's kind of far away from a bench, so I can understand why he'd be difficult. Uh, so I can show you, I'm going to be doing this with the Old Nail. I won't be using any of these abilities, and I will be using... Uh, I might use the Ventral Spirit. I don't know. Um, but as you can see, I really only have the Mantis Claw. I don't really have anything that's going to make me overpowered for this. And I'm only going to be using the Wayward Compass. So you guys should have more than me. I'm going to break down every single one of his attacks and try to make this quick and easy. So here's the Soul Master. Um, you can get some hits in right here. Every time when he does this, just jump up, hit him. Easy. Quick. Quick and easy. That's going to be pretty much this whole fight. Every time he shoots a projectile, you can just dash towards him, and whenever he shows up above you, just dash away. Dash away. Oop, I, I, I got a little antsy there. Dash towards him, get a hit in. You can jump. Oop, whenever he does that, you just jump over him, get one hit. Just pogo. Right here, jump hit, jump hit. You can, you can keep doing more if you wanted to. You, you can get several hits on each of these, but I'm gonna try and defeat him nice and slow. Just to show you guys how to how to counter every one of these moves. Dash, hit. You could get two hits there if you wanted to. Dash, hit. Dash away. There you go. He tricked me. Hit. hit. Dash, hit. I could look at this. Three hits. Jump, hit. I could hit him again here too. Let's see, where's he at? Jump, hit again. You can get two hits every time he dashes that way. Dash away and jump. Dash towards him. Hit. And then if you have the Abyss, not the Abyss Shriek, this one, you can you can use that spell as well. You might not have found it yet. Dash, hit, hit. There you go, just like that. And then whenever you down him, then, then just deal a bunch of damage or... Look at that. Could be easily hit him three times. And if you stay in the middle, when those things rotate away, they can't hit you. So here's a good place to heal, or you could hit him a couple of times. Dash towards him, hit, boom. It, it's it's really not too hard once you learn all of the moves. So he's he's got the one where he comes from the top. That's one move. This move right here, where where the items come around him, that's move number two. You can just stay in the middle. It's not going to get you. And then this where he comes from the side, that's move number three. And then move number four is where he does that. And by that, I mean he, he shoots projectiles towards you. The other way to, to stay in the air just a little bit longer is you can, you can dash and that'll keep you up a little bit longer as well. So now I'm gonna start laying into him a little bit more just cause I'm using my old nail. And I feel like I've explained all of the different moves. And so now it's just a, a matter of finishing it off, right? With the old nail, if you have no nail upgrades at all, it will take longer. I highly suggest, uh, I showed in my earlier video on how to get here, uh, where you get the nail upgrade from the nail smith. And so right here, you, you think you're done. The, there's there's just a there's just a little bit more. Just a little bit, it's, it's, it's not too bad, you're almost done. He's gonna be doing his desolate dive ability um, from the top over and over again. So right here, you, you think you got the ability, almost, almost. So that's essentially what you're gonna be able to do once you have the ability, just jump out of the way. And sometimes he will do that where he'll, he'll trick you. But seriously, it's as simple as dashing out of the way. You, you really don't even have to dash technically, but you just, just jump and whenever those orbs come after you, just come off to the side. So we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll let another round go. I probably could have finished him off there if I was going really fast. Look at that. See how I stayed up in the air just a little bit longer with using that dash. But then you just jump and hit him. Nice and easy. You're pretty much done. Just watch out if those orbs come back at you. Really, th this is it. There, there are no other moves here. It's just him coming from the top and then just learning how to dodge those orbs. If it's too high, you can jump up and trick where they're going. And just like that, we defeated the Soul Master. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. 
and informative. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe. I don't know what that was, but just like that, we got the we got the new ability, and I'll I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. The desolate dive. It's definitely worth having. You're gonna find all kinds of different things, and uh, you'll definitely need it just to get out of this area. They they kind of train you on what you need to do. So if you do get stuck in the next room, um, I'll show you. I'll show you what's up. So right here, you you, you hear that sound? You're gonna hear this sound in several places throughout the game. It might not be so obvious as like a white cracked thing, but you'll see some ground that might have cracks. And if you hear that sound, just boom. You'll definitely hear it in the, the Crystal Peak. There's some areas that have this and you just, just like that, desolate dive through it and you're good to go. So again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Relia and I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks, bye.